This video is my entire workflow for writing content using ChatGPT 3.5. I need to make this video because many people are asking me for it. And honestly, let's just get into it. So we're actually going to be priming ChatGPT. This is slightly different to prompting and it's kind of only relevant to using the UI, which you can see right here. So let's start with the first part of the prompt, which is basically telling ChatGPT that you want it to write an article today and you want it to include internal links. The most important part is the part at the end, which is where you say, do you understand? When I press enter, it should not start writing, okay? So let's just read the priming prompt. I want you to write an article today. I will give you the information but I want you to only write in markdown formatting. This includes relative links. I will give you 10 links to use. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Please give me the necessary information, including the content for the article and the 10 links you want to include. So you should have a list of your internal links somewhere anyway. You can, there are a couple of things we can do here. So let's say you have a huge list of internal links. You can put them inside ChatGPT in order to sort them. So I have over 400 internal links. I don't know which ones are relevant to this article. So what you can do is you can say something like, can you choose 10 relevant internal links for an article about, and then let's just say black tie attire for men. Oops. Okay, so if you have a big list of internal links, you basically run that command, you put your links, and then you can see that it chose these 10 right here. And then I just said, can you also include some designers and clothing links? And now we have a decent amount of links. So you want to then put these into the original chat GPT. So we'll just put all of these. It shouldn't really matter that there are more than I said. And then I'm going to say, write the first half of an article called black tie attire for men. And I'm going to hit enter and this is hopefully going to do exactly what I want it to do, which it is. This is currently the best or sorry, the cheapest way to write pretty good content. Obviously, well, not obviously, but ChatGPT4 is better and ChatGPT4 API is even better. But if you're not paying for, if you're not playing, paying for plus and you, or you don't have access to GPT4 in the API, I would say that this is currently the best way to write content. Now, this isn't that long. Let's just quickly check how long this is. Let's be honest with you. Length of article is something that is not that well understood. And I think that a lot of times people write articles that are too long. So as you can see, when I do control V like this, I want to talk about this. Okay. So in case you haven't really written a uh, chat GPT content before, or you don't know how to do this. I'm going to show you a tip that is going to potentially change the way that you make content. So obviously everyone knows that when you control V like this, it, the formatting is terrible, but I just want to quickly look at the word count. 662 words is not ideal. So I probably would end up adding more sections to this particular article, but I want to show you this, which is super, super interesting. If you actually scroll up and press copy here, instead of dragging and doing control C, look at the difference in the formatting it actually gives you markdown. Okay. And this is something that I feel like a lot of people don't know. The reason this happens is because either Google Chrome or chat GPT, uh, it automatically converts the markdown. Okay. So probably it's chat GPT. It uh, something within this particular version of chat GPT. So the UI of chat GPT is automatically converting markdown into HTML. That's what Markdown is. It's a way to write HTML in a simple way. So what we can actually do is we can use probably one of my favorite free tools that's amazing. They don't have any ads or anything on here. It's called markdown to HTML.com. And all you need to do is copy this Markdown and put it here. And now you have an article, but again, there's one more step because if you just copy this now and paste this into a document, there's going to be a problem. Okay. The problem is this link is now to markdown to html.com slash designers slash Tom Ford, which obviously doesn't exist because this is my relative link. It's not a link from 
markdown to html.com. So how do we get around that? You actually just click on raw HTML like this. And now you have raw HTML. And what can you do with raw HTML? You can put it into WordPress. You can put it into Shopify. You can put it into, you can put it into Magento. You can put it into anything. And that's how websites read content. So it will show as normal text to your readers, but you can basically copy and paste this directly into any CMS. This is definitely the cheapest and fastest way to write content right now. Whether this content is going to rank amazingly on Google depends on a couple of things. I do have some chat GPT 3.5 content for sure that is ranking fine on Google. Personally, I would highly recommend using ChatGPT4, but if you don't want to pay for Plus, or you don't want to pay for the API, or you don't have access to the API, this is undoubtedly the best way to write content right now. So let me tell you why this is kind of the best way to do this. So I actually have a, I have a better way to do this, but as I said before, not everyone has access to the GPT-4 API. If you do have access to the GPT-4 API, please use uh, this video here, Best SEO, if you want to learn how I write my GPT-4 API content. However, the actual layout of this article, I really, I don't have a problem with it, to be honest with you. Like for less competitive keywords, this will definitely, this kind of content will definitely still rank. It has good structure, it has lists, it has more lists, it has num ordered lists and unordered lists. It has really, really well thought out internal links. To be honest with you, I actually really like the format of this article. So one of the last things I'm going to show you is how you can easily find your internal links if you don't have a long list of internal links. What I actually like to do personally, because we already have stuff on Google, is I like to use Search Console to get the currently good ranking pages for the website. So I'll put 25, let's say, and we'll just grab these top 25, and I would just whack these in to the article or into ChatGPT. And what you can basically do is you can put them in a CSV. If you do Control A V or Control Shift V on uh, Windows, it will put it like this. And now you can easily copy and paste this to wherever you want. You can put it into ChatGPT, ask it to select the best internal links for this article. And then I'll show you the final way to find a list just in case you don't have um, Search Console or you don't have a lot of stuff in Search Console. I want to make sure you have everything you need in this video to write good content. You can actually use your sitemap. So normally on Shopify and WordPress, it's just your website.com or whatever slash sitemap.xml. Okay. This is the most common. If you can't find it at this address, go inside your back end and look for sitemaps or something like that within the back end of your CMS. What you can do is you can do exactly the same thing. So let's say I, I want my collections here. This is the other website that I work on. You can just control A and then you can control V. Make sure that it's black so you can actually see the content. And then hang on. You want to right click the column that it's in and do sort by and we'll do Z to A. And then you just want to look for URL or lock like this. You can grab all of your links that you want to grab. So wait until the lock disappears here. There it is. Okay. And then put it in, let's put it in G now. And then what I like to do is I like to clean the data. So you can do control F, click these three, dot, three dots, uh, Chevron lock, and then write your website like this. Do not put the slash at the end. That would have been a mistake if I'd done that. And then press, press replace all. You can see 239 instances of lock. And then we'll do the closing lock tag. Do replace all. And now we have nice, clean, relative internal links. The beautiful thing about relative internal links, by the way, this was I feel like this was really, really clever by me, um, is that they use less credits or less tokens. So you can actually write more content because you are 
using less tokens in this part of the prompt, okay? The final thing, if you want to write longer content, you can actually tell it to write longer content. I'll show you exactly how. May as well do a complete video where I show you absolutely everything. So new chat, again, we all run the same prompt. Hopefully it won't mess up and it won't just start randomly writing an article, which it will do sometimes. If it does that, guys, just please just keep trying. Don't just write a comment saying it doesn't work. Just keep trying. So please provide me with the information and the 10 links you would like me to include. So I'm going to give it the links and I'm going to say, wait, this is too many. Let's get rid of some. I'm going to say, write this article in two parts, 600 words each. Write the first part now. The title is, let's do something different. Um, best summer outfits 2023. Okay, there's a link. That's an internal link. That's an internal link. That's an internal link. Let's see where this goes. This is always quite risky to do on a live video. Um, it might just go completely wrong, but we'll go continue generating. This would be a really nice keyword for us. Vicuna overcoats would be an amazing keyword. So if it doesn't end up writing more content, what you can do is you can say write another 500 words um, about, I don't know, four season fabrics for summer too. So we can basically just add more content like this. This is a really, really easy way to just kind of get it to write more content. I am going to have a video about whether longer content is actually better or worse, but the answer is it depends. So for something like summer outfits, I would say f th this article on its own was actually enough. For something like black tie attire, which was the first keyword of this article, it's you're going to have to do more content if you want to rank for a keyword like that, especially with a new website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.